gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, 2018 is upon us. What does that mean in the NFL? Playoffs, baby, playoffs. It is time for the NFL Wild Card Weekend. We have 256 regular season games that I did picks on. 169 and 87 on the straight up win loss. Against the spread, 138 and 118. Over under 135 and 121. I'm pretty proud of those numbers. Don't say they're awesome, but I'm proud of them. Let's get started on the playoffs. All right, first game. Out of the AFC, we have the 9 and 7 Tennessee Titans versus the Kansas City Chiefs, 10 and 6. All time, the Titans are 7 and 5 in the wildcard games. They are 3 and 3 on the row in their last six road playoff games. Kansas City is 3 and 7. All time in a wild card game, they've lost five straight playoff games at home. During the season, the Titans were 23rd in offensive yards per game at 314, the Chiefs were fifth at 375.4. Defensive side, Titans gave up 328 yards a game, while the Chiefs were giving up a mind boggling 365.1 yards per game. Titans averaging 20.8. Yeah, points a game while giving up 22.2. Chiefs averaging 25.9, giving up 21.18. Chiefs are favored by 7.5 at home. Got the Chiefs winning. Got them covering the 7.5 and, and under on the 44.5. Next, we have the Atlanta Falcons at 10 and 6 versus the Los Angeles Rams at 11 and 5. Falcons are 3 and 4 all time in wild card games. They've won three of their last five road games in the playoffs. While the Rams are 3 and 5 all time in the wild card game, their last home playoff win was 2001. Um, Falcons are 8th in offense at 364.8, while the Rams are 10th in offense at 361.5. Defense side of the ball, Falcons 9th with 318.4 yards per game. Rams. 19 to 339.6. Falcons are scoring 22 a game, giving up 19.68 to so giving up 20. Rams scoring almost 30 a game, 29.9, giving up almost 20 and a half. I'm going with the Rams here. I got the Rams winning, covering the five and a half and over on the 49. Now the next two games. This one's kind of both of these games kind of like hmm, make you wonder. Buffalo Bills nine and seven. Versus the Jacksonville Jaguars, 10-6. Where would the Buffalo Bills be right now if they would not have benched um, Tyrod Taylor and had their rookie in there throwing four picks and a half? What If, if Tyrod Taylor would have started that game, would they have won? Could they be hosting a playoff game? No, because the division winner hosts. So, yeah, so they would... More likely, it would still be 10 and 6, so it really didn't hurt them. They might be playing Kansas City versus Jacksonville, but, it, yeah, because they would have had a better record in Tennessee. But, yeah, I mean, who knows where their season would have went, I mean, after that. Um, 29th in offense at 302, 302.6 yards a game. Jacksonville, 6, 365.9. Buffalo, is, the Bills are 26th in defense, yards allowed at 355. Jacksonville, that defense is stout, second, 286.1. Buffalo is 3-3 three three in the wildcard game all-time, while Jacksonville is 3-2. Jackson, Jacksonville is scoring 26, giving up 16.75. Buffalo is scoring 19, giving up 22. Jacksonville is favored by touchdown at home. I am going home team. I got the Jaguars winning. Covering the seven and over on the 39 and a half. And last but not least, we have the battle of the NFC South. The Carolina Panthers at 11 and 5 versus the New Orleans Saints at 11 and 5. Two meetings this year for these two, te two, two teams, two schools, two teams. The Saints won the first one 34 13. The Saints won the second one 31 21. Yeah. Um, Panthers are 19th in yards per game at 323. While well, the Saints are second with 391 defense, Panthers are seventh with giving up 317. While Saints are 17th, giving up 336. The Panthers are 3-0 all-time in a wildcard game. 
Well, the Saints are three and five all time in a wild card game. Um, Panthers are scoring 22.6 points a game, giving up 20. Saints are scoring 28, giving up 20. Saints are favored by six at home. I'm going with Carolina plus six, covering and under the 48 and a half. So Carolina plus six, covering. And under the 48 and a half. So I have Carolina and LA moving on in the NFC and the AFC, Kansas City, and Jacksonville. So that will wrap up the NFL Wild Card Weekend Picks and Preview here on Robert Sports Show. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show and don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.